What? <laughs> what it do, baby? What's happening? Yes, you boy. Why I keep throwing my hands up? I don't know. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for tuning in, bro. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. While you're here, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And hey, we're growing the channel. Hey, what are we if we're not growing? Come on, man. Hey, though, know, this is Corey Kent. Listen, I've heard of this song, but I've never heard any other music by him. Granted, I love this fucking song. It's going to be a 10. I don't think I've seen the video all the way, so that's the reason why I'm watching it, because I do not remember watching the video. Uh, so I'm going to check that out and watch it with you guys. But other than that, why am I still talking? I don't even know. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Uh, no, nah, I'm doing too much. Hey, we're locked in, though. Like, twin enough. Let's go. Had to grow up before I started shaving More worried about mama than running and playing outside She didn't sleep at night, I guess neither did I I don't know how she did what she did, but she did it Knew someone was missing, but for her I hid it She had enough on her plate So I tried to take his place be strong when you ain't And hold on when you can't She won't tell you but she needs you And you can't let her down Man, it's still like I'm just hearing the song, bro It's so refreshing This is, this is such a powerful song, bro Like, oh uh, man, like, like personally, bro Like, like my father was around Do not get me wrong I grew up in a two-parent household. Yeah, sorry that happened. <laughs> it died, but back to what I was saying, bro. Um, like, what's really crazy is that um, sometimes you can feel like that's not the case. Like, you're not really in a two-parent household. You know what I'm saying? Like, my husband worked two jobs, so he was always gone. So it was mostly just mom and us at the, at the crib. That and my grandparents and... Aunties, you know what I'm saying? Just looking after us, you know what I'm saying? But, like, it's crazy because, like, you see the pain your moms go through. Like, I'm not sure. I don't know why it is. Like, I just, God created it to where, like, we can understand, like, our moms. Like, shit is so crazy the way it is. But, like, mom is, like, in pain. Or, like, she's, like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to say the man of the household, you know, is the dad, obviously. But, like, the mom energy really impacts the entire household. Because dad can come home in, with bad energy and fuck everybody up. But mom can revolve our shit. Like, she can, like, like this shit can, like, not impact us type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't know. Like, it's really hard to explain, bro. But, like, mothers are everything, bro. Like, mothers are everything. If you still got your mom, hug her, bro. Just stop what you're doing right now. Call her. You can't hug her. Call her. Let her know that you love her, bro. Because once they're gone, they're gone. I'm going to call my mom after this. Yo, mama, I love you, mama. I love you, mama. I love you, mama. Mama just love her, actually. Uh, like I said, I just had a daughter. She came down here to help out. About two weeks. It's a process. Definitely grateful to have her. You know, she was definitely a help. Uh, but, bro, like, moms for sure. But she needs you, and you can't let her down. So hide those shaking hands. Be a rock when you feel like saying. You turn. Woo! Did you hear what he said? Man, this dude, ooh, this dude got a pin on him. Be a rock when you feel like saying. How many times in our life have we felt like? Everything is just moving under our feet, and we can't find solid ground. You understand? Know we we get somewhere. You feel me? Like, and it's just like, in those moments, that's where we need to ground ourselves the most. 
and just realize and come to the conclusion like you 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 are here, you're alive, you have the opportunity to make the most of what you have. This is your opportunity. This is your chance. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's what I mean by that, bro. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Be a rock when you feel like saying. Turns out all I was back then is all that I am now. Just a boy trying to be the man of the house. I got a lot of homeboys like that. You feel me? Even I was at some point. <laughs> Unknowingly, right? Uh, you just, like, there's like a void in the home, bro. Like, if, if a man presence isn't there or if, it's, or if it's not in the capacity of which it should be, you know what I'm saying? Like, every home needs to have a woman, the mom's presence, and the dad presence, bro. Like, every home. I believe in two-parent households. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's different if you don't have one. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it's just different. And it could be bad, it could be good, but like, like for sure. Making shit emotional, you feel me? Someone new shows up with some flowers. They go out for a couple of hours. Home alone's fun for any other kid. But I couldn't watch her go through it again. Trying to fill shoes that ain't my size. But the world don't give a damn about the age of the dog in the fight. Trying to fill shoes is not his size. Like, my God, bro, how many of us? I keep, I'm, I'm trying to put, make you understand, like, how, how amazing this song is, bro. Um, how many of us has been in a situation to where, like, damn, we feel like we are in over our head? Like, how the f did I get in this situation? Right? Or maybe we put ourselves in that situation. I'm like, why did I put myself in this situation? You know what I'm saying? And like, and it just goes back to this. Like, like as a as a child, a child should never need to need to know that feeling. But there are so many kids that do. Right? There's so many kids that do. And what what do you tell the mom? Stop living her life. Hurt happens. Heartbreak happens. Was she supposed to not live anymore? Supposed to give up? Man, that's that's a tough situation, man. That's just, a single man. It's a tough situation. And even if you're in a two parent household, imagine just seeing like just constantly arguing and like just back and forth and like no togetherness. You know what I'm saying? Like they're together, but they're not together. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. So like that ain't no better. That ain't no better. Like who you helping? You teaching me to stay in a situation, <laughs> in a situation where I know that I should leave. I'm not loved. You showing me that I'm not loved. Look at how you treat me. Cause if you love me, you would treat me better. Yes, Lord. Come on now. <laughs> if you get it, you get it, Dick. <laughs> yeah, we heal with it. So be strong when you wait. Hold on when you can She can't tell you what she needs you And you can't let her down Hide those shaking hands Be a rock when you feel like sand It turns out all I was back then Is all that I am now Just a boy trying to be the man of the house Just a boy trying to be the man of the house Married my girl and we had a few babies Trying to give them the childhood life never gave me No, they probably can't tell But I'm still telling myself I, I don't even, like, I know what he's about to say So I kind of, like, cut him off prematurely But, like, bro, like you have to understand 
that no matter how bad you don't want it to, what you went through as a child made you the individual that you are now. The things that you went through as a child made you who you are now. The things you learned as a child is what made you into the person that you are now. Good, bad, and ugly. And you've adopted both sides of those things. You've adopted negative things. You've adopted positive things from those situations. That's what makes you you. The best part about life is the ability to wake up is given is given the opportunity to wake up every day and have the ability to change those negative things. That's the best part about life. It's every day when you wake up, you're given the opportunity to change the negative things about your life. You don't have to settle for where things are at. You don't have to settle for where things are. You could change your situation. <laughs> it's never too late. It's never too late. Do you hear me? It's never too late, bro. Never. You hear me? Like, don't give up, bro. Like, for real. Like, it ain't over till it's over. Ain't even then. It's still, there's still a chance. Hey, people that woke came back from the dead all the time. Yes, Lord. If you know, you know. We here with it. Be strong when you may And hold on when you can They can't tell me what they need you And you can't let them down So have those shaking hands Be a rock when you feel like sand It turns out all I was back then Is all that I am now just a boy trying to be the man of the house Just a boy trying to be the man of the house Still a boy trying to be the man of the house Man, bro, the song itself, a 10, video, 8, Mad Max 7 but it's because the song is so fucking great. It's a nine. Bro, this song is so powerful. This song is so strong. Like, and even at the end, he's saying, I'm still, still a boy just trying to be the man of the house. Because we still growing, baby. We still growing. And even when we think we're growing, how grown are we? Right? <laughs> hey, how if you hear me, we here with it. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you, bro. Like, like, ain't, ain't no such thing as like, ain't no, like, like, this is it. Like, they don't worry like that. And then, like, who said we had to be the man of the house? Like, where did that term even come from? Right? Why can't we just be a part of the house and contribute toward the well-being and welfare of the house? How much bullshit would that alleviate if we took away these fucking gender roles and just, like, existed, right? And contributed towards the same goal, the same mindset. Are the same the same result that we were all looking towards. Why can't we just do that? Why does everything have to be so complicated? Why does everything has to be he or she or whatever? Like, why can't we just do what the fuck needs to be done? Hey, that's just my wishful ass thinking, right? Excuse me, fucking millennium. Millennial, uh, how the fuck, whatever the fuck, my fucking... Uh, I'm definitely not a Gen Z or Gen Y or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Whatever my... Uh, you guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. You get it. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? But, anyway, I'm rambling now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hey, if you're still here, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. We're in the process of growing, just like I said. We're growing the channel, baby. Hey, believe that. Believe that. Thank you guys so much. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram at uh, Poetic Lamar. Make sure that, everything's going to be below. Uh, make sure that you follow my uh, Frenchie business at Malibu's Exotic Frenchies. <laughs> That's going to be below. Make sure that you follow my dog breeding business at Summerland Kennel. That's going to be below. Man, hey, we locked in, bro. Hey, you guys want Huskies, AKC, 
This is all gay, KC. You need me? Hit your boy up. I got Frenchies and Huskies. Frenchies are coming. They're not here yet, but tap in early. Because once that little drop, hey. <laughs> Oh, and then uh, oh, and then she was some pressure too. Yes, Lord. Ah, uh, man, but <laughs> thank you guys so much, bro. You guys don't know how much I appreciate you guys watching. Leave your comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, hey, if you guys are a fan of Corey Kent, comment some other videos that I should check out. Other songs that we should listen to. Right, that's what it's about on the channel. It's about growing and you know diversifying. We we listen to pretty much everything over here. So without without no further ado, man, until I come back, 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 I ain't got nothing else to say. So that's just that. Yeah, I know we locked in like twenty now. I'm out, baby. Cause y'all know we right here with it.